trellis for our jasmine to grow on. so that we can get to a lower layer of the lasagna layer bed to um, plant the root system of our plant. And um, this just gives it, you know, a deeper um, root system so it's not just like chilling up on top. And um, then I'm, I'm probably gonna go back and add some more soil. What you noticed I was doing in the video earlier was that there's, these are called root bound plants. They've been in the pot so long that the roots have become all bound up and they are like pretty much like suffocating to me. So to help your plant expand their root system faster, you just kind of very gently rip those so that you give it a chance to spread those roots, soak up the nutrients and the water around it. And then you're gonna kind of like cram it down in that hole that you just made and you're gonna push back those layers that you just pulled back and that gives the plant a nice snug fit in your new garden bed um, and then you're just going to kind of push it down to give it a good little snug hug right cool okay pollinators let's talk pollinators why do you need pollinators in your garden obviously you want to encourage those beneficial poll pollinators to come into your garden to pollinate your plants and pollinate your veggies right so one of the things i absolutely love 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 to plant is my jasmine i love it i bought two this time it smells amazing grows amazing it's actually pretty well um, in our heat here it takes on all our crazy weather we have in louisiana um, right here is salvia. I absolutely love salvia. And if you go to your local plant nursery, maybe even Home Depot, Lowe's, I'm not sure, they're um, the plants that encourage um, pollinators will have something similar like this, right? Beneficial blooms or something like that. This is salvia, it's Roman red salvia. It's gorgeous and it will bloom a lot of our summer here. Um, it is an annual, but it can act like a perennial if it is able to overwinter which it works here because we don't get too cold here um, another thing I have are roses just because they're so pretty and um, they smelled great and then over here I have some lantana Ooh, they're right there 
Lantana. Um, they'll encourage our butterflies and all those good guys coming on in. They are poisonous, so if you plant these, be, be cautious of your pets and children. Um, and then I stuck another salvia over there too. I'm also going to stick some morning glories in here that have been growing from seed and probably other pretty um, flowers that I'm going to put in here through over the next couple weeks. Don't forget to subscribe to Humble Roots so you can hear more of our adventures in the house, in the kitchen, and in the garden. But I also wanted to share with you why I love gardening and not just veggie plants. I love the flowers as well because in the Bible it talks about how the Lord is always providing food for the sparrow, right? And that even the flowers are always dressed and they don't have to be wor they don't have to worry about anything, right? And if God loves his creation, which is you and I, then we also have no reason to be anxious and that he's going to always provide for us as well. So if you have something on your heart that you're anxious about or you're worried about, just remember that the Lord loves the sparrows, he loves the flowers, but he certainly loves you as well. Mm -hmm.